Hey guys, Chef Jason Race, hardware grilling expert. Super excited for today's recipe because we're gonna do a little bit of braising in the Dutch oven on the big green egg. Super excited, very easy recipe, right? But it's gonna take a little bit of time to craft some amazing flavors. So let's get in here. Let's talk a little bit about gear, gadgets, grills, and we're gonna talk a little bit about prep too. Our grill today is gonna to be the extra large big green egg. You know I love that size because it really gives me so much real estate to do everything. Then we're gonna be cooking indirect today with the convector and also with the expander system. Now today we're gonna to start the fire off with our big green egg igniter. I love that guy. And then we're gonna get connected today. That's right, we're using technology with the egg genius connecting our phone to the grill, giving us that full technology connected experience. All right, we went ahead and stirred all the ash in here, got that down into the fire pit, the ash pit, so to speak. Uh, we went ahead and topped this off with a little bit of lump charcoal, right? And now we're gonna do what I always say. We're gonna flatten this out, make it nice and level, and then you guys, we're gonna make a little pit in the middle because that's where we're gonna start the fire today, right there in the middle. We've got the igniter here. We're gonna go ahead like we always do. Uh, start a little fire in the middle. I like those embers to kind of glow a little bit. And then once we've established a little bit of a fire, a little bit of a nice little ember pile, time to turn the fan on and get this thing moving. Now that we've got the big green egg started, this top is gonna to be wide open because we want it to grow to 200 degrees. So you can see we're nice and cold right now. We wanna get it right to 200 because that's when we're gonna add the convector. So top is wide open and then check this out. The bottom is wide open as well. We'll go ahead and close the screen. We'll leave the bottom open. Now we're gonna let this guy climb to 200 degrees. Ingredients today, we're starting off with those short ribs. And I went ahead, uh, made sure I got the biggest, thickest, fattest ones, but I tried to make sure they were all the same size. We're gonna start off with a little bit of oil today to uh, help act as a binder, and then rub it up. Plain and simple, super easy today. And then really it is onions, carrots, celery. We're gonna add a little bit of that fresh squeeze tube garlic I love. And then to deglaze, we've got some red wine. We're gonna use some beef stock to help add some of that moisture. And then a little bit of brown gravy or demi glace. And then guess what, right here, everything is going into that beautiful big green egg Dutch oven. So while the big green egg is heating up, it's time to do a little bit of prep. So we're just gonna drizzle these guys with a little bit of that canola oil that's gonna help, help act as that binder. Get that guy all set there. And make sure you just rub those on there, get everything coated nicely. Because next up, it's time to season these guys with Rub-A-Dub. And I like Rub-A-Dub because it's just a very neutral, all-purpose seasoning. It's not heavy barbecue, it's not heavy salt or pepper, it's pretty well-rounded. So season, like we always say, you guys, as light or as heavy as you want. But the best part of this, I'm seasoning all the way around here. You're gonna eat everything. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this well seasoned. Then we'll let these guys sit now uh, while that big green egg preheats and reaches that beautiful 200 degrees when we add the convector. We're gonna go ahead and add the convector now that we reach 200 degrees, and then we're gonna add the alligator clip for the egg genius. Now, we're gonna go ahead and shut this. We'll show you how we adjust it up, get that all set. 225 degrees is gonna be our cook temp today. We're gonna go ahead and adjust that top because now we wanna hold this at 225 degrees. So we're gonna start right here, maybe a quarter inch or so. Might have to adjust that down just a little bit, but check out the bottom here, guys. We've got the Egg Genius all set. So now we'll go into the app, we'll get it all dialed into that 225 degrees, and once this is holding temp, we'll be ready to add our short ribs. We are right at that 225. You can see we added in a drip tray. I forgot to tell you that. Make sure you put in a drip tray liner. That'll help keep your uh, juices from sticking to your convector. But we are set here. We got these guys all soaked nice and neat. Now, one thing you're gonna notice, we are not putting in a meat probe. That's right. We're not focusing on meat temperature. We're focusing on time. So we'll go ahead and close this and we're gonna let these guys go for 90 minutes. So set the clock. We'll come back and see you in 90 minutes. 90 minutes are up, it is time to get these bad boys off here. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put them on a little sheet pan, little drip tray, because we're gonna hold these in the kitchen for just a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and adjust the temperature on the big green egg to 350 degrees. So we'll head into the app, we'll get that adjusted, and then check it out. While it is adjusting and heating up to 350, time to add the Dutch oven. So this heats up as well while the grill heats up. Then the beauty is this is ready to saute the onions the carrots, the celery, and get us ready for the next step, which is braising. 
We went ahead and burped the big green egg and we opened up the dome. Now, the great thing about that egg genius is it is actually going to stop the fan when it notices the dome is open. So we're in a good place. If you don't have the egg genius, don't worry about it. Just make sure you adjust that bottom vent. But it's time to dig in, time to get sauteing and get ready to braise. You caught me doing the quality control before the quality control. I will tell you what, Big Green Egg did just a fantastic time. On the 90 minute braising, right, where we put that in the Dutch oven, covered it and braised it, we actually did 110 minutes, went about 20 minutes longer. And don't be afraid to adjust this as long as you want. If you want them shredded or you want them a little bit uh, sturdier, maybe you're serving it like we did. We put that beef right on top of the mashed potatoes. We covered it with the gravy, put a little bit of uh, microgreens in there from our arrow garden. This came out absolutely fantastic. And then don't forget, if today's your first time joining us here on the Ace Harbor YouTube channel, be sure to click that subscribe and then like, comment, and share. We love when you share our content and we love being a part of your YouTube community, that is for sure. Then questions and comments, if you've got them, leave them below. Let us know what we can do to be helpful and how we can show you some more amazing things to cook on your big green egg. And then you thought today's video was fantastic. We have more awesome big green egg videos coming up. We have a video just designed to show you everything about that egg genius. And like I said, if you don't have an egg genius, don't worry about it. Run that big green egg like you normally do uh, and have an absolute blast with it. I'm Chef Jason, your Ace Hardware Grilling Expert. Yeah, you caught me with uh, round number one of quality control, but here in the Ace Barbecue Pit Studio, we like to use the proper utensils when we quality control. So today I have a knife and I have a spoon because that's all I managed to grab. I'm gonna cut into this short rib, oh my word. And then I'm right in that beauty, uh, beauty, beauty, beauty uh, pool of mashed potatoes, pile of mashed potatoes. Can't even talk because I'm so excited for today's quality control, but this right here is well worth the price of admission. Cheers.